What is up? This is Dragon Slayer, and I am streaming live on Twitch. Welcome to our daily grind. Right, we are playing Octopath Traveler, and this is a Lone Traveler playthrough, where I will be attempting to get the Lone Traveler achievement from Steam, or Steam achievement. <clears throat> and so let's see, we are up to level 21. And just barely able to grind out various dungeons, the level 15 dungeons. It's not easy, right? Again, it, I always tell my guildies in ESO that teamwork makes freedom work. And uh, this game illustrates that very well. The idea that we can accomplish more working as a team than we can as individuals. And that is true in this game. Because it is a very difficult road going as an individual in this game. Alright. So let's move out. Let's check out this other dungeon. Okay, we have been grinding it out here in the Whistle Wood. But let's, uh... Try out the untouched sanctum. See how that goes for us. Last time we visited there, we pretty much got owned the whole time. This time we're a little better prepared. After every turn, I'm regenerating life. That is Vim in Vigor skill. Passive skill. I have plenty of. Uh, I'll stop demonstrating that now, and uh, we'll go ahead and take care of these guys. Well, I don't need to waste a firestorm. Fireball is adequate. You should have studied harder. So again, the support skill, Vim and Vigor, equipping character will regenerate HP each turn. I mean, technically at this point, we don't even need to use magic, right? Not against the trash in the, the level 1 trash, right? We could just beat them to death with our staff. And regardless of how long it takes, we're not going to lose any health to those guys. Oops. Dungeon is over here. Dungeon will be a little bit different, uh, though. They'll do considerably more damage. Now. Alright, let's see how we do.
Time these guys destroyed us. Now, what next? Right. <sighs> oh, not this time. <laughs> All right, let's get an analysis in here. Finish that out. All right, light and fire. Now, this guy's still gonna do a bunch of damage to us. So, of course. Probably best to keep him break state. What is the logical course of action? Oh, flames! Rage! Wow, he's still alive. I still. Wow, guy's a beast. Shouldn't have played with them. So, rule three: violence of action. If you're not sure. Go for the throat. Don't dick around with them. And that's what I did. Instead of casting Firestorm, I cast Fireball, and now I'm dead. One damage. Right. Nothing will fight the storm. I'm not going to survive, am I? I still have so much. Wow. So, apparently I'm not ready for this dungeon. <laughs> Craziness. Well, let's at least get this far right. <laughs> Like Kate. So if you defeat the Kate, if you actually defeat the Kate, uh, you get crazy amount of XP and JP. As a result, probably more money as well. Not exactly sure. At least that's my working hypothesis. We'll see. Death, isn't he? Huh. Yeah. Now, what next? Huh. Huh. My friends. Yeah. I yeah these things just so kill me over and over again. So probably not gonna work. We'll just go to back to the last dungeon. We'll come back to this one. Clearly we still have some more grinding to do. And like I said, 
Teamwork makes freedom work. When you're an individual, you're going to have a hard time accomplishing what you would be able to if you're a member of a team. So, again, this is a level 50. Oops. Yeah. So, we're what, here, the Untouched Sanctum. It's a level 15 cave. That's the suggested level. But we are certainly having much better luck at the Whistlewood, also level 15. So let's go back there and grind out levels there. We'll come back. Again, I, I have mentioned this a number of times now, but it, it's a, uh, when you're playing a square RPG or a Japanese RPG, you tend to be a member of a team, right? That speaks to, that's an example of kind of the difference in American culture and Japanese culture, <clears throat> whereas American culture is individually or individual oriented. Uh, Japanese culture is group oriented, right? But it it is interesting that this game lets you do either. You can play as an individual or you can play as a member of a team. So it's it's very well done. It's a great game. And it is clearly much harder as an individual. Now, you don't have to go very far to find uh, instances of American culture where we put teamwork before the individual, right? You know, I'm not talking socialism or communism. I'm talking about, uh, I don't know, about the U.S. military, right? Everyone, when when people think about the army, they think about like Rambo, one versus forty, or some garbage like that. That's really not how it works. The very first thing that we learn when we go to basic combat training or whatever is the value, the importance of teamwork. I mean, the very first thing they do is. Hey, make sure you have a battle buddy, which basically means make sure there's someone with you at all times. If you're, if you're called over to talk to the drill sergeant, make sure you've got your buddy with you. So you can both do push-ups and get stronger, right? <laughs> Alright, so, let's get to this. <clears throat> oh, I see through. Not bad. A passing. At least we could kill things here, <laughs> like in that level 15 dungeon. Right. Come back and get a save. There are still groups of monsters here that will kill us, but. Not too many, just one or two groups that'll take us down. Assuming we fight the use the appropriate tactics. Cause anything here can still kill me, I have no doubt. But with violence of action, if I don't toy with my opponent, it's a good chance I'm gonna beat these guys. Or beat most of the monsters that are in this forest. I 
I've done my research on you. This is a fight I could easily lose if I don't do it the right way. So, what we'll do is start off by getting a break on the frog things. The Flatlands Froggins. Oh, flames. That Rain. was the wrong Rock. spell. So, nope, we could easily die here. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this now? So, let's try to go ahead and do this again. Oh, and not screw it up. Might be too late though. Seven, the RNG hates you. We're gonna take a little. Uh, we're gonna bet on ourselves instead of the RNG. Try to get back to the save before the next fight. You gonna make it? Made it. All right, and we're going to bet also again on ourselves and not the RNG. See if the RNG screws us. So I have very low health, but I have regenerating health. So could be all right next fight, assuming that it is a favorable fight. I've done now, my the RNG was on my side that time. Some love from the RNG, random number generator, or the pseudo random number generator specific right so easy fight go with the ice wind oh that screwed it up I'm gonna die yep not gonna die ah, a tempest of ice shall rain All right, we're down to 73 hit points. Didn't die. And we leveled up. That's what I'm talking about. So we keep fighting. Should probably get a save though. Can get an auto save by exiting and re entering. Again, that last fight could easily died there and situational awareness I should have used double blast of that uh, blizzard spell instead of ice wind and then blizzard situational awareness they had two shields not one on that front row can't we settle this like gentlemen again now, same fight what next? the guys in the front row have two shields sometimes they only have one, depends on, these are the frog in, Flatland Frog in four. Not sure which ones just have one. But anyways, these ones have two. So in order to put them in break, we're going to need to use the Blizzard spell. Two. Those guys in the front row are now in the break state. And we'll finish them off. Oh. Not bad. A passing. Alright, next fight. I 
and at this point our main goal we've already got the equipment as good equipment as we can get currently and I've done my research on you as far as the skills I wanted from this character class I've got those so all we're really doing at this point the main goal is to get high enough level that we can venture out to the next chapter which has been our overarching goal the whole time but we don't have any more sub goals um, we're just grinding now grinding the for the final goal so in this fight uh, flatland frog in five only have one shield so we'll put those guys in the break state with ice wind as opposed to blizzard Then we'll finish them off with level three blizzard. Too easy, right? Not bad. A passing. Save. Where are we at for SP? Shall I do another fight? And we'll have to head back. Head back to town. On. Right, again, if I screw up this, this fight, the there's a good chance to die. So let's try not to screw it up. We're going to have to go with Blizzard. They hit the front row twice and get them in the break state, and then we'll finish them off with the Firestorm. Huh. Three Firestorms. There we go. Come and break. Regen their health. Attacking, and now they die. There you go. You should have studied harder. Those are the appropriate tactics. Oh, well, let's head back and rest at the inn. Roll number one, save often. Right, continuing the grind. I've done my research on you. An interesting dilemma. <sighs> 
That is not what I meant to do. This could be bad. Now, what next? Oh, didn't matter. You should have studied harder. Easy fight, right? Uh, we use ice wind oh, ice. and then ice storm. level three ice storm. A tempest of ice shall rain. Not bad. A passing. Alright, we're halfway through level 22. Get a save here. We're at 55. We should be able to do one more fight. Maybe two. No, probably just one. Yeah, just one. bolt to put him in break just did two damage to the cape it has four hit points so it ran away all right fair enough and then we'll hit him with blast take him down you champs oh wish those guys showed up more often Travel. Because again, we're at 25 SP. Really, in no shape to do any more fighting until we get some rest. Again, I could use items to achieve the same thing, but. Probably overall more efficient just to hit the end and go back. Now I'm kind of curious, so this guy's level 22. Let's just take a gander over here. This is our next destination, Quarry Crest. Quarry Crest, if I can speak. Let's just take a look at that. See what the enemies are like over there. I have a feeling they're going to be too much for us currently, but we'll see. Only one way to find out, right? Time 
to teach you a lesson. An interesting dilemma. Save. Here goes nothing. Level Seventeen. There is a secondary. Secondary class here. Pick up. Possibly. Assuming we don't die. Uh, where is it? Below I've me, I think. Research on you. What is the logical course of action? Stuff out here. Now, lightning. Let's try it. Not lightning for this guy. Well, I'm not dead yet, so. Sign. Now, what next? So much to learn. Win. What is the logical course of that? So much to learn. And X. About to die. Come on. Great inferno to scorch the land. I think I'm dead. Uh, I think we should probably run away. Unable to escape. Dead. Try it again. Ha ha! That's close. Oh, let's see. Pick up our first secondary class. Well, we don't actually need any of the skills from this, but it'll help out. Give us some more options as far as fighting. Well, I give us some more hit points as well. Here is the uh, tutorial on secondary classes. You now equip secondary jobs. And simply select jobs in the main menu and you can equip secondary job. Why don't you give it a try? <laughs> Alright, we'll go ahead and do that. Jobs. Another tutorial. Open up new strategies and battle with secondary jobs. Gain new jobs during your journey. Simply go to the job screen and use them. 
secondary job changes more than just the weapons and skills available to you. You can switch your secondary job freely, but only one character can use a given secondary job at a time. Well, I have one character, so there it is. Boom, now I'm a thief. I gained about a hundred, no, I didn't gain anything. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> so let's see about learning some skills. These will actually be fairly useful. Steel SP and Hit Point Thief. Share SP would be useful if I were in a team <laughs> or on a team. This is probably useful. This will be useful. Reduce a single foe's physical attack strength for two turns. Yeah, that'll be useful. So let's see. Skills. So basically this means if I steal from something, I'll have 50% chance to attack as well after I try to steal from it. Fleet foot, that might actually be pretty useful. I like not being surprised, but being first to attack would be uh, even better, I think. Alright, we'll get another save here. open it so I do not have Therian in the group. Fair enough. Got save. Should we get in the town about time? Settle this like gentlemen. What is the logical course of action? Out of SP. Oh, flames! Rage! Wrong! Now, what next? Use your strength, flagging. What is the logical course of action? Weapons now that I can attack with. Yeah, I might want to just leave this fight.
unfortunately that guy's a little too much for me right now. In fact, all enemies are a little too much for me right now. Need some rest. Alright, made it to Quarry Quest. Crest, not Quest. <clears throat> right, tutorial on Chapter 2 and the continuing story. Unfortunately, I won't have to worry about two chapters commencing in the same town. Okay. Alright, so generally the chapter involves going, uh, doing a bunch of dialogue, then going in killing a bunch of trash in a dungeon, and then fighting a boss. Probably not ready for that yet, but hey, it'll give us another place to grind. So let's go ahead and go through the dialogue. All right, this is the story so far. disappearance was a riddle wrapped in a mystery. <laughs> a little bit of a cliche there. A riddle that piqued the, his scholarly curiosity. Indeed. Right. Looking for Odette. Have to know where she is. Or so does he. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Pretty standard for nerds, right? For all your intellect. You have always been clumsy in matters of the heart. <laughs> Nerd! <laughs> yeah, she's going to laugh at him. <laughs> Ladies are staring. They're like, oh yeah, look at that Scala. <laughs> right. right. Well, maybe the game's not really realistic, but whatever. Let's go check the weapon. Oh, this is Quarry Quest. Press. Let's go find some weapon store here. I think it's up, not down here. Pseudo gold ore. Dubious gold ore. Fair and well. Mr. Murloc's Manor, which we'll be going to. That's the dungeon for us here. New weapons for sale. Perfect. Let's just head over to Murloc's Mans real quick. Never mind. 
Set back. Let's see what the provisioner has. Bad stuff. I'm not gonna buy any of it, of course. Good save. Going out. Here. Well met. A hidden item. Good, good, good. Most intriguing. Flail. I'm gonna do more damage. That doesn't really help us. Because we need to do more elemental attack damage. It's actually pretty close to the other this guy. The pull mace. Actually the pull mace is a little better. Equipment. Probably use a new sword, new knife. Should probably work on getting those things knocked out. Neither what, none of which I can get here. Right, moving out. Let's see if we can scrutinize some more of these people. Hello. Eighty-four percent. Hidden item. Treasure. Great bunch. It would seem that. Eighty four per cent. Got it. Nothing useful. Seventy percent. Got it. 
hidden item. Treasure! Oh dear. <laughs> Fifty six percent. Let's try it one more time. Got him. Likes fishing as well as other things, apparently not worthy of mention. Hidden item. Stones of Orwell that actually help in the side quest we picked up. Excuse me. Not that I can really pick that up. 84%. Missed it. Let's roll again. We got three more times. Got it. Right. Whatever. Fool's good ore, fool's gold ore, refreshing jam. Yeah, the refreshing jam is the elixir of this game. The Final Fantasy elixirs, very rare. Inexpensive if you can find a place to buy them. Usually only sold by NPCs that are not merchants. I think there is at least one NPC, merchant NPC that sells them. Could be wrong. Probably am. Alright. Seriously? Hello to you. Six percent. Oh, I never go. Fair and well. I don't think I've gotten my discount at the end yet. Go. Nope. Generally, the NPC gives a discount at the end. Oh, actually, we don't go to Mr. Murloc's Mance for this one, I don't think. To ye. Oh. Right. Ninety eight per cent. Got him. Right. Hello there. probably the one that gives me the discount but too close to failure so and 44 is still not that bad all right let's uh get through some of this dialogue Here we are. Indeed. Yes, yes, I'll be right there. 
It's been some time, Odette. <laughs> You're still here. I guess I'm not suffering from fatigue induced hallucinations after all. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> it's me, Odette, in the flesh. Good to see you as hale and hearty as ever. And you're as insufferable as ever, no doubt. What are you waiting for? Come in already. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> She's mocking him. <laughs> How did I know that would be your reaction? Right. We were practically joined at the hip back in the day. Just watching you go about was fun in and of itself. <laughs> I always had a hunch you'd end up in trouble with the ladies, but to think it would happen with the princess of all people. Somehow, you've managed to exceed even my wildest expectations. There it is. By expelling me, they hope to protect Her Highness's good name. Oh, of course, of course. I'm sure it's all as you say. Her Highness and this Therese are just your pupils. They have no romantic interest in you in the slightest. <laughs> You're something else, Cyrus. But it's a relief to find your powers of observation are as keen as ever. Uh huh. Well, did you come all this way just to entertain me? <laughs> if so, congratulations on a job well done. Right. Save your congratulations for another time. I've come in search of a certain tome. It's a quest. Are you perchance familiar with From the Far Reaches of Hell? A cheery title if I've ever heard one. I can tell you that it's a compendium of ancient rites and rituals. Not that I've read it myself, of course. I know that much. I was hoping you could tell me more. Not much more. It touches upon necromancy, I believe. Necromancy? Necromancy. That said, as to what extent, I know little. Is that so? Give me a break. All right. A whole dialogue, blah, blah, blah. We're going missing. Weird. Again, Naturally. we're going into the sewers, not the manse. The manse is part of a different quest. Triss's, uh, or Tressa's secondary, or, uh, <laughs> chapter two quest, if I could talk. <clears throat> Most intriguing. Most intriguing. Excuse <sighs> <laughs> hmm. me. Ah, man. A little tired, I guess. Great.
As you wish. I see. Right, onward. The incidents happened. Last scene near the end. Right, gotta talk to a few more people. Scrutinize them. People love to be scrutinized. System of underground canals run all throughout the town. Sewers. Of course, this is the entrance to the sewers. Huh. Witness testimony. Right. So now we can figure out the mystery. Now then. Now then. Near the end. At all hours, day and night. Hmm. They were kidnapped, indeed. The sewers. Alright, we've got enough information. Thusly. We figured it out. Then we need to go into Z sewers. We're good to go. We don't need the rest. Let's get a save. We'll go into the sewers, although likely we're just gonna get beat up and get killed. Level 24. If we can't take on level 17, chances are <laughs> this is going to be out of our grasp for the moment. Thorough investigation.
time to teach you a lesson. Oh, yeah, these things are going to kill me. <laughs> now, what next? <laughs> I am sorry. G O. Right. So we'll resume from the last point. Let's go and outfit our newly minted thief. We should probably go over here to Boulder Fall. We'll likely have the weapons we need. Play some weapons to get started. Should have saved that silver sword, eh? From the forest. Sold it instead. Probably go with these two for the time being. We'll upgrade. Here we go. There is actually one more job I think I can get before, uh, let's see, let's, let's find out. And for this one, oh, let's see, where's... Here, this way. There. Look at where the other one. That way, it's over here. We gotta go down this way. That's like level 31 stuff.
Oh, we could try it. Get saved before we head out. How far we can get. Let's see. I don't want to go to Orwell. I'm just gonna remember how to get to this next spot. Sunshade? I don't think that's where we want to go. Saints Bridge. Settle this like gentlemen. Now, what next? Ah, so much to learn. Gats was close. Gats now. What next? Get a break. Right. Ah. Not bad. A passing. Being a thief does have its advantages. Gives me some more weapons to work with, so I can get breaks on these lobies. And don't have to spend magic points. Or as, uh, spell points, sorry. Level 20. Well, at least we got an auto save. It's not too far in here. Let's see if we can get. 
get it. Yeah, save. Boom. Alright, we got it. Regardless of what happens here, we should be able to get over to this cave. Pick up our next secondary quest. One we actually need. Or rather, I need one of the secondary or one of the support skills from this class. Head into town. we can travel back here when we need to. Let's just check on what weapons they have. Nothing we can afford currently. Staff of Wonders. Not as good as what I have. Warhammer. <laughs> Elemental Shield. That would be a pretty good one to get. Charm rope. That could be our next armor. Though we'll lose a little bit on the elemental attack, but we will pick up some extra SP. That could be good for us. In fact, we can afford that now. Yeah, looks like a good deal. stuff on. Well, that was a waste. Alright, it's getting beat up. Never equipped my fur coat. Shouldn't have bought this, but whatever. Actually, it'll probably come in handy for grinding, so... Let's upgrade from what we had on. Use this a little later.
level 31, probably don't want to be here. But we might be able to get to uh, the place where we need to go. Let's see. Probably going to die here. Is the RNG with us? It was. So we've collected three of the jobs, the extra jobs, Apothecary, Thief, and Dancer. And actually we should probably equip Dancer, because there is a skill that we definitely need to make our grind much easier. Physical defense buff. It's going to help. And we got the show goes on. We don't really need that one. So just take a look at it. <coughs> Status augmentations you grant to allies will persist for one additional turn. And not really a big deal. The one we're looking for is the third one. So we'll have to do some grinding before we can get to that. Uh, we can try and get to this town, but if we face any enemies, we're probably just going to die. But we have auto saves, I think. Yes, auto saving. Good, good. Yeah, kill me. What is the logical course of action? The mole has his way. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna live through this. <laughs> oh, dead. <clears throat> I still have. So much to learn. Yeah, clearly these enemies a little too tough for me. But should be able to get to the town now. Yes? Yes. Got to Wellspring. Now we can fast travel here at our leisure. Next one we want is over 
here somewhere. So we'll go up here to Cobbleton. Cobbleton? Or whatever. Cobblestun. Cobblestun. Alright, whatever. Anyways, moving out. Seventeen. Shrine of the Thunderblade is where we get Warrior. Keep traveling this road to get the next one, which is what merchant, which is over here. We should probably hit a stone guard while we're here. that Ah. 
Got him. Thus ends your lesson. The mole has his way. We should probably run away. We will be back here. That's good. Get this save before I die. Time to teach you a lesson. Fire. Again. Yeah, I gotta go around here. There we go. Shrine of the Trader. We also needed merchant class. Really, we need all of them, but. Merchant class has the SP saver skill, which is the fourth in fourth one. We'll need that. 
to make again make our life easier quality of life right save we can try to find this town Not a save out of it. Let's see if we can get to the town without dying. Save. Yes. All right, good to go. take a look at the weapons this is actually the place if we were playing as Tressa we'd be able to get the uh, one of the best staffs in the game let's get the name of it it's like 331 elemental damage it's either this NPC or this NPC I forget which one but Again, won't be able to get that, at least not until after Chapter 4, assuming I can sit, continue playing. <clears throat> Again, this is a Lone Traveler playthrough. Uh, yes, <clears throat> Death Zero 216 up. Uh, I am not able to beat chapter 2 just yet, but uh, keep going. I'm just collecting secondary classes right now. <clears throat> or secondary jobs, in this case maybe. Let's just take a look. Some things we might buy here later. Probably gonna need a good axe for Ooh, sapphire rod. Yeah, we'll be wanting that. Okay. Elemental attack 158. That'd be a good upgrade. All right, on. Yeah, the. We'll see what I can handle with uh, the classes I have right now, but currently I'm still just doing, or before I start collecting classes, I was pretty much locked into Whistlewood, it was prim primarily where I was grinding at. Uh, should be able to take these other level 15 and 20 uh, caverns now though, so I'll work my way around the map and do each of those. And then once I get through those, I'll come back over here and do chapter two. Oh yeah, I believe that. Yeah, <laughs> I played it on my first playthrough with group, and even with the group, it wasn't uh, terribly easy. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, I imagine solo. I'm gonna have to do a lot of grinding. That's the idea here. But I'm not opposed to that. All right, let's get out of here. We still have a couple more classes to get. One is the scholar class, although don't really need to get that. Yeah, it just goes to show that we can accomplish more working as a team than we can as individuals, right? It's a lot easier working as a group than it is working as an individual. But, uh, uh, it, again, I think it's interesting that this game shows uh, both, uh, you know, both the, uh, the advantages of working as a team, but also lets you play as an individual. So, let's uh, transit over here. <clears throat> Fast travel. We'll go pick up the sorcerer subclass, even though we don't need it. It's fine. But there's still. What am I missing here? Cleric and hunter, I believe. Thief, apothecary, dancer. Four, five. So, right. The three that I'm missing are my own job. Uh, hunter and cleric. I know where my own job is. And again, I won't need it for the uh, for this playthrough. But assuming I get through chapter four, I'll probably continue playing this, and other characters will want that class. So might as well pick it up since we're in the area. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm assuming Death Zero that after I get past Chapter 4, I get the achievement and then I can continue playing and pick up the other uh, characters. Assume that's how it works. Right, so we're just going right over here. Oh, nice. Yes, I am playing on Steam or on a PC. This is the Steam version of the game. All right, so the cleric is, class is by Snowfell. Is that what it's called? Uh, it's it's an absolutely great game and uh, this is an interesting way to play it so let's see we'll come over here first and pick up the hunter class which is up here and then we'll come up here to finish it out. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the shrine bosses are tough even with the group. So, yeah. That's awesome. Actually, I hadn't planned on doing the shrine bosses or any of the other 
late game stuff. I just wanted to get the achievement on this playthrough, but now that you mention it, that would be uh, that would be quite a challenge. I like it. I might try that. Yeah, I was. It was down to this character or Ulbrich, uh, who I was gonna choose for the solo playthrough. I was also thinking that at least with this character, I'd be able to uh, uncover all the weaknesses of all the enemies as I play along, which is another achievement on Steam. Yeah, so far it's been tough because he doesn't have a lot of hit points. He gets one shot by a few things here and there. So. Oh. <laughs> That happens to the best of us. Alright, I need to head... West. And then north. Over to West Safari Trail. Victor's Hollow. Ah. Going the right direction? No. <laughs> Let's try to go the right direction. Not get into too many fights here. <laughs> And I'll get back to the grind as soon as uh, pick up these classes. Get safe here. Probably die against anything here. Alright, so this one is right around here. Here's the Huntress class. We just have Cleric left to go. Treasure! Pretty useless for a, uh, for a uh, Lone Traveler playthrough. Can't raise myself from the dead if I'm dead. path. So we got an auto save coming out of the cave. I'll probably just go ahead and get this save here too. Just to be safe. I'm just going to bypass that treasure for now. I don't really want to run into any enemies here. I so probably won't be able to escape, and I'll probably die. So, I see it on my mini map. Probably not going to make it. Got there. All right, there it is. The last class I need, I believe.
right, and there is a support skill I need from this line as well. It's the fourth one. It'll make my life easier. Uh, it is... can't think of the name of it right offhand, but basically allows me to heal above my maximum hit points. That'll make my life way easier on this grind. Right, I should probably just travel away from this. And I guess, well, first we'll come back here and grind out some levels, some uh, job points. Then level or two, I'll just go and try that, uh, the other level 15 dungeon. And if that goes well, we'll try some of the level 20s. Right, right now I am grinding the dancer uh, job so I can get the ability that regens SP. Right, that is the third one. The dancer skill line or uh, job. Again, these fights are pretty easy for a Scholar, I think there's still one fight that might kill me here, but All oh, right on Yeah, that sounds like a good spot. We'll try that one as soon as uh, I'm sure we have mastered this one Right you mean um, one that's over here somewhere it's in this area I have not found that one yet but I mean I found it but <laughs> yeah I know which one you mean right on I'll definitely try that one out save Again, pretty much everything in here I can beat pretty easily in two rounds. Maybe be able to do it in one round now. Let's see where my where I'm at. We're at 324 elementary or elemental attack. Might be able to one shot these guys now. Let's see. Can't we settle this like Probably not these guys. What is the logical course of action? Right, so again, just try to do efficiently. They only have one shield. So we have lightning bolt first. And then hit them up with a level three uh, what next? lightning blast. Ah, Too easy. Ends your and they give good experience. So leveled up. You know, hmm. yeah, I should go try that other 15. I was dying a lot in this other one, though. I really should probably equip, like, a warrior class to do this other one. But... Right. Yeah, I definitely want that uh, staff that I was looking at over... Where are we at here? I think it was in Gold Shore. Level 28. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, this is one of the few places where I could consistently kill things. And if I do uh, do 28 here, I should, by that point, <clears throat> uh, unlock the third support skill in this. Uh, this line, that's what my current goal is. And we'll switch uh, classes up. I have some other ones I want to get, including there is one in Apothecary that would be useful. In fact, yeah, hold off on that, but the 
fourth one in Cleric is what I'm going to need. And the fourth one in Merchant, which is the one that halves your SP use. Definitely going to need... Those are my first ones. Dancer, Merchant, and Cleric are the first things I need to grind out. First jobs I need to grind out. And then... Uh, quality of life will definitely be better for this particular character. Right. Uh, that one has <clears throat> the ability, the fourth support skill allows you to heal above your, oh, the dancer gives you, uh, uh regenerates your SP every turn. The, uh, third skill, I forget what it's called. Right, so with these guys, we'll just do it efficiently here. Go with Ice Wind, oh, start them off. Yes, and then a level 3. Probably should have went double uh, Ice Storm, but... Interesting dilemma. Patience from Hunter. Oh, okay. Why is that? Right on, Desir. Why do you think uh, patience from the hunter uh, class is the most important skill for a solo playthrough? Oh, nice. Yeah, you're right. That would be really useful. 25% chance to get an extra turn at the end. I like that. Good tip. Yeah, absolutely. I agree, that is very good. Alright, hit him with level 3 Let's Blizzard. And go. Thus ends your lesson. Alright, where am I at? 121 left. Go ahead and get saved. There is still one uh, group of enemies that will one shot me here, but have it rarely, rarely hits. But gotta keep saving just in case. There really isn't a boss in here, but if there were a boss, it would be that group of enemies, <clears throat> like the one of the guys. It's a, it's a level. It's a frogin six, I believe. And it just, it'll do a thousand points of damage to me in one hit. Time to teach you a lesson. Hmm. Right on. Guys, I know what to do. Oh, ice! Here's some proof. Yeah, a lot of stuff can definitely one-shot Cyrus. You're right about that. Gap, what is the logical course of action? You should have studied harder. Which one is Hang Tough? I forget. Now let's see. Let's probably go get a save. Where are we at? 91 to 151. We're still good. Get that regardless since I'm going for the SP saver, which is fourth skill in that line. Right, the, so the hang tough is the third in the skill in the merchant line. Right on. 
I've done my research on you. Hmm. Oh, ice! Pierce them through! Got a break. Ah, <clears throat> oh, Kate ran away. What is the logical course of action? <laughs> You should have studied harder. Well, let's see, I think I do have some soul stones. Let's check. Oh, nice. So if I see one of the cates, I should uh, throw one of the soul stones at it. A medium soul stone. Uh, I've got a light soul stone, medium, and wind soul stone, medium. Have to keep that in mind. It's a good tip. Because actually, Kate's been dropping a fair amount in uh, in here. Let me go grab an auto save. And they always run away before I can kill them. <clears throat> But I have face enough to get uh, the analysis complete on him. What's that? The 1k I'm missing out on? You mean by using the soul stone? Or do you mean as far as killing the Kate, uh, gain the, that extra XP? Yeah, you're right. Lesson. You're right about that. <laughs> what next? Yeah, you do get crazy XP from uh, killing the gate, so pretty nice when that happens. I wonder if I could one shot these guys yet. Just for shits and giggles. Close. What is the logical course of action? I think I do have a dagger. Break. What is the point this guy have? What is that? There you go. Not bad. A passing. Definitely need to get some better weapons. Let's see where we're at. Just 3,000 leaves, so. so I screwed up and bought some something I shouldn't have. Nonetheless, what do we have for skills? Buy the next one in here. Peacock strut. Thousand. Next one. And that will get us to the third one. We could start on cleric or uh, either cleric or merchant. Probably go with merchant. Make my life easier. Get that SP saver. And try out the hang tough ability as well. And. I'll look into doing the hunter then after that. Can't we set up this like SP. Right, getting low on SP. Dilemma. So I'm not gonna dick around with these guys. Got him. Thus ends your lesson.
to back to town. Get a good save, and then... Boy, I kind of... I have this urge to go try this other one out. Not that. This one, the Untouched Sanctum, another level 15. The last time I was in there, I was getting killed pretty often, but... Now I've changed things up a little bit. Might be good to go. Just have to remember to use that buff for personal defense. to this one than the forest. One of the reasons I really like grinding in that forest because it's so close. I'm not sure. Cobblesome might be slightly closer for this one, but there's still a pretty long walk. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? The logical See, I don't think I have a for this guy, so... Oh, ice! Pierce them through! <laughs> what is the logical course of action? Huh? A tempest of ice shall rain! Oh, I should just love with that. Not bad. A passing point. Or hit him a couple times. And just use 8 instead of 30 SP. <laughs> it's a waste. Oops. Yeah, either way, it's Cobblestone or the other town. It's kind of a long walk. These things were killing me pretty quickly. Let's see if we're going to fare any better this time. Get save here. First rule of RPGs save often. I've already cleared out part of this, most of it. But only because I have evasive maneuvers on. Which of course isn't particularly good I've for grinding, but still to get to the point where I can master these guys a little better. Keep it on. Alright. So these guys typically kill me. Let's see. Three shots to take this guy. This wind wisp uh, down. Turn with that. Should be a good spot for merchant actually. But he does have 427 damage. But I can't get a break on him. Break. The logical course of action. Getting him. That. There we go. Got him. Did not die. Thus ends your lesson. What I'm talking about. May not be worth the trouble.
another fight in here that was giving me trouble. See, I already got this stuff, but just to make sure, because I died a lot here. Time to teach hey, there's a cake. Alright, so we're going to throw one of these medium soul now, stones at it. What next? And hopefully not die. That's the trick, right? Light soul stone medium. We have a dark one. Oh. Anyway, it's the guy up front that's weak to light is the tougher enemy, so. Light soul stone medium. Right. A gift for you. Boom! Got it! What is the logical course of action? Alright. Let's see. I forget what its other weaknesses are. I think fire. Let's find out. It wasn't, but it worked. Not bad. Got him. Boom. That helps. Right? 1065 XP because it killed that cake. Thank you for that tip, Def Zero. That's badass. I like it. Alright, this seems like a reasonable place to grind. Let's get a save so I don't. Yeah. I don't want to die here. And I died a lot here, so I'm still a little weary of this place. Right. course of action. Looks like I will be able to grind this area now. Nothing's killing me so far, which is a step in the right direction. Let's see where we're at for our skills. Alright, so we got ways to go. And of course I won't be able to open any of these purple chests in this playthrough. Assume that tomb has something to do with a secondary quest. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? Now, what next? enough of that. <laughs> Can't wait until I can rock an apothecary or cleric or class here. There's something, some skill from apothecary that I wanted, but 
it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I use it for my uh, one of my builds on my first playthrough. I'd use the 30% uh, healing and SP along with the uh, played well with the uh, cleric skill that lets you heal above your maximum hit points. Played really well with that skill actually. Uh, let's zoom out of here and go back to the other one. Oh, where am I going? This one's going to be better for now just because A, less chance of me dying, and B, it's a lot closer to town, A town. Yeah, now I'm up to 25. Maybe I should start trying out those level 20s. Let's do a few more levels, though, like you suggested. Maybe get up to 28, and then uh, go down to try out this level 20 down here. spot evasive maneuvers makes it nice because you don't face anything in your walk from town but uh, don't waste any time beating up low level guys let's see actually don't mind that not that any of these enemies are gonna surprise me but I've done my research on you an interesting dilemma Hit him with this. Oh, get to right. them through. What is the logical course of action? I feel like I might have been able to just one shot this guy. Getting pretty close to that ability. Search on you. What is the logical course of action? So we try. <sighs> A tempest of ice shall rain. Nope, not quite yet. It's got all but one. Now, what next? <sighs> you should have studied harder. Time to teach you a lesson. 
I gotta play around with these guys because they will kill me quickly if I don't take care of them. Fight where you definitely want to practice violence of action. Get that break and then unleash with the level three. You should have studied harder. Six thirty-nine, getting close to that one thousand mark. You'll switch classes soon. Time to teach you a lesson. What is the logical course of action? Oh, ice! Get them through. Also be able to grind for extended periods of time with that skill, nonetheless. A tempest of ice shall rain. I have to go back to town less often. You should have studied harder. If at all. Speaking of going back to town. Save, head back out. Let me re equip that skill so I don't run into any level ones. Here we go again. <laughs> Let's see what else I got here. Why not? Settle this like gentlemen. Now, what next? nice for this game is if there were a mod well, actually if there were any mods heard of one but if there was a mod that allowed you to uh, change the position of your skills in, uh, so you can put your most used skills first in your menus lesson. right now what next it's not too bad right now, but as I progress through the game, it gets kind of annoying when I have to go to like the center list. I got hit down or up four times to get to a skill that I use every single time, right? It gets annoying. Anyways. Oh, I'd be good if I go with this. And if you 
gonna release the game on PC. You should probably get it a mod kit or uh, something to allow us to play with the user interface. Be nice. Square's never really been forthcoming with that kind of thing. You should have studied harder. Again, there aren't a whole lot of things I can say bad about the game design. There are many ways I could really improve this game. It is solid. Again, I've said it before, if you want to know what decisions to the right decision for a game design, then play this game because they made them all, or most of them. <laughs> have very few negative uh, Things to say about the game design is, yes, or Can't improves. This, yeah. Now, what next? Let's see. Uh, for this fight, we break the uh, two in front first, and then unleash with fire. So, ice wind. Oh, ice! Here's some proof. Get the break. And love then level three fires. Although this strategy may not be quite as crit critical as it was before. But it is good violence of action. Get in there and get it. Destroy them. Don't play with your food. Yeah, it's 64. Should be good for another fight, too. Well, uh, probably one. What do we have from JP? We're just about there. What is the logical course of action? Actually, we might be able to swing two fights. Let's see. RNG screws me. That's rule seven. For the RPG, the random number generator hates you. Trust me, it does. So, I'll try to tr uh, test fate too often, but uh, might in this case. Oh, ice! Get some fruit! Again, if I have a fight like that, I have enough SP. If I'm in a fight where I need to use uh, a tougher fight, right, uh, I might be screwed. So, we'll see what the random number generator says. Let's get a save either way. And see what happens. Let's roll the dice. Where you gonna get me, RNG? You're gonna give me hate, or you're gonna give me love. Time to I got love. You a lesson. Oh, except I got surprised. <laughs> Not good. Not a good way to start out the fight. Well, on the plus side, I'll be able to do a, a level four on these guys. Take that. <laughs> right there, I'd be would already regain my SP, I think. Got him! <laughs> Not bad. And a passing. We just got our skill. Yes, we're above 1,000. Boom. Uh, 
Oh, let's see. Don't like that. Oh, where is it? I still gotta learn it. Second wind. Sorry. Got lost in my thoughts. There we go. So, cover a certain amount of SP each turn. Uh, this goes really well with... Uh, was it the golden scarf or some crap? There's some item that you can get if you're a merchant <clears throat> that regenerates health. Uh, you can get it early in the game, I mean, chapter one. Uh, and that is here. It's Tressa's mother that sells the item. But of course, you have to be a merchant, you have to be Tressa order to buy it from her but you add that with the uh, with the skill and you basically never run out of SP ever which is pretty nice for a mage and again it I just see it as a way for this character to kind of extend out grinds where I don't need to go back to town as often or I don't need to use items but we do need to go back to town. So let's do that. Should have probably waited to do that, but let's take a look at job that is next. We should probably go with merchant. Can hold off on cleric right now. So yeah. Rest will come in handy. one of my favorite skills right there is the donate BP. It's fun. It's nice for a glass cannon group. Get two merchants in the group. Just throw your scholar or, and or sorcerer BP along with your uh, cleric slash scholar or sorcerer or starseer or whatever. And yes, you can do a lot of damage. Because you constantly have boost points available. Not the most efficient group, but it works. It's not bad. It's fun to play. Anyways, go with rest. First skill. And I need more equipment. I need a spear. And a bow. But I should have a fair amount of money to get those with. Alright, well... <clears throat> work on that next time all right so what we accomplish in this video uh, got some excellent tips from death zero thank you appreciate that and let's see uh, well collected all the secondary jobs so we're good to go with those started uh, building up that uh, start building up my skills or starting my secondary or my uh, support skills build so we'll, uh, should be good on this grind now we're uh, there are no doubt a, n a number of other uh, skills I need for this character that uh, I'll try out along the way, but uh, it's coming along nicely so far. 
and we should be almost ready to go to chapter two. I, I'd still like to uh, hit up the level 20 dungeons first, grind that out for a bit, and then head over and try out the level 24 uh, chapter two qu uh, t uh, the quest, or the, uh, well, for Cyrus. And then, uh, yeah, that's the plan moving forward. So next video, we'll either continue grinding at the forest or try out some level 20s or both. <clears throat> and then once we get up to, I don't know, maybe 30, 32, we'll try out that uh, chapter 2. Quest for Cyrus. See how it goes. <clears throat> But again, yeah, and we gained a bunch of levels in this. So, yeah, again, what did we accomplish? We got all the secondary jobs, and we continued grinding out levels. And we started uh, with, uh, started uh, filling out some of our support skills, which is important for this build. So, that will wrap it up. Thank you, in particular, Death Zero for the good tips. Appreciate it, man. And thank you, Twitch viewers. Appreciate y'all. I'll be back on tomorrow. Another video. So there it is. Dragon Slayer out.